Hello everyone, welcome to Command Wolf Gaming, I'm CWG, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now, in the last episode, I just started setting up this new base for the new uh, job uh, upgrade that they had going on here, so, uh, and I'm pretty much just going to work on the, uh, my base again today. I just want to see how far uh, I'm going to get before I have to go and basically... Uh, get new duplicates or something. Uh, what right in this sort of little corner here? I'm actually creating a little carbon area, and the reason why I'm creating the carbon area is because I kind of want the carbon to gather somewhere else. Um, obviously, if we take my look at my auction overlay, uh, it doesn't look like I'm building up a lot of carbon, which I'm technically not. But I still don't want that carbon in my base. I'd rather have it distributed to somewhere else, and then I'll uh, I'll add in a uh, carbon uh, carbon dioxide to uh, oxygen scrubber into here. And um, I did a little bit off camera, not a lot. I cleared out this area right here, and uh, up a little gate here. Uh, I'm thinking about using this as a separate room. It's going to be like a pass-through room or a cleaning room or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but uh, that's going to be a room. Um, and I also put an auction uh, algae deodorizer right down here as well. So we have one up in here pushing all this this way. And we got one down here uh, pretty much trapping. If any carbon dioxide goes down here, it will, it will force it even further down in a way. So... Uh, we do have a lot, uh, a lot of duplicates available, but I really do not want to activate any more duplicates until I kind of get the base more stabilized with power and stuff, get more of the research done. And I was thinking about it, you know, I'm thinking about I want another uh, micro musher. And the reason why I want another, mother, another micro musher is because I want to get an excess amount of food uh, to store away so that... Uh, we have a uh, constant amount of food. Okay, let's start the game at least. So, that's what I'm planning to do today. I'm actually going to try to even make some more rooms. Now, I really didn't do a good job in explaining the rooms. Now, the bathroom, right, it stress relief bonus. Now, since this is an isolated room, it has a toilet and, uh, well, a toilet here and a washing s uh, sink here. It relieves more stress since it's contained in its own system. The individual bedrooms, as we can see right here, uh, this, it receives a stamina recovery bonus. Um, these will be quarantine areas and uh, quarantine sick duplicates. Basically, sick duplicates assigned to medical beds located within a med bay are less likely to spread disease. So basically, if I have somebody with hypothermia or, or something, and I, uh, I assign them to this bed. Um, they would not. Uh, it's it's less less very less likely that they'll spread uh, a disease to the rest of my duplicates. Now uh, I do see my duplicates are kind of a little sad here. Um, so first off, go like this. one two. Is that three up? One, two, yeah, that's three up. Okay. Cancel that. Oh, I hate making weird things. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. Because we have these guys going on that. And we're gonna... Again, I want to make an excess of food. Try to kind of get the food up and going. Um, up here, I'm actually going to create the farm. I'm planning to create the farm up here. And uh, this is just going to be another area for food and stuff. Uh, let's, well, not food, but uh, an extra area for that stuff. So we just got to put it like this. Now, I'm trying to not make too much stuff and overpower the circuit. Um, I just, I, I really don't want that to be happening, so, uh, and again, my hatchet's running back and forth, he's, uh, eating the stuff and making coal and whatever else he needs right down there, so, eh, we got a little duplicate, oop, sweep. Again, I want to try to get as much food away as possible, so, 
Uh, let's see here. Micro Musher, and we'll do continuous to make that level 9. And I did not make those wires level 9. So, make those level 9. Uh, now, what else we got going on here? Again, oh yeah. As I was saying, the food. Okay, they are making more food now. Now that we have another micro musher, they are definitely making more food. Are you guys even digging up there? Like really? Are they? I don't know if they're storing the food in there. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Okay, now we're getting a positive inflow of food at this point. As you can see, we got a little bit right there. So, uh, I gotta reset the priorities here. Put this to level 8. This to level 8. I really would rather have you guys go and concentrate on this section right here. So that I can make you more food why what why are you sweeping up this is level six task go sweep up afterwards go all this all all that that's level six don't worry about it. yeah I know there's high stress what do you think I'm trying to do I'm trying to do something for you guys don't be so mean that's interior decor unfortunately um that's all requires electric. Let's go to advanced research first. I'll go to advanced research first, and this will allow me to uh, get the stuff that does not require energy. All right, we do have enough energy from the base. So we don't have a lot of oxygen up here. So I'm, I'm working on this section. Again, I'm using this whole auction section as a benefit to basically force our auction up in here so we'll just expand this out a little bit get some more auction flow this way so you know this this is level six i don't even care about you guys sweeping this just go and do something else yeah, do the priority. That's right. Do the priority. That's good. That's good right there. Why Why aren't you guys doing this? Like, really? Alright, well, anyway, we're, we're going to start the food. We're going to go to this. We're going to go... All the way like that. Priority. Nah. Let's get that this is up and rolling. I guess we want to start uh, making some mealwood seed. Now, this was suggested to me to have every other day um, basically producing food. So, I'm going to do... One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five across. Let my little duplicates take care of that. Just, I assign all the all that cleaning as level five and not make it so worried about it. Well, they'll do it in their spare time. So when tomorrow comes, I'm actually going to take care of, uh, add more, one, two, probably three, then the then last four for the final day. It's just to keep it uh, going. Um, that's a level five cleaning right there, boys. Uh, it looks like this guy's not really eating anything right now. Oh, he just ate something. Pro probably polluted water. So. And uh, we're, tr we're just trying to get everything up and running. Schmidt Jr. is running on the wheel. 
uh, we got plenty of oxygen going so it's pretty much just a waiting game at this point and as we can see we still got a lot of breathable oxygen right here and all the very breathable oxygen is coming in through here and pretty much holding out right here and honestly we can probably close off we don't need this running really um, because we're not in this side of the base that much we only we're only really in here when we need to get water so like what's the point in uh, doing all that you know so I'll j I just mark this as disabled for now and when they wake up they can deal with that okay to start of a new day they went and disabled this building because obviously we don't need it right at this second um, I am planting the next set of crops one two three and that would be a four Growing, growing, breathable oxygen. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has to wait for fertilizer. So I decided to do fourth, and I'm going to do three. Uh, now, the reason why I made this this tall is because I'm actually going to add in um, some additional piping and stuff and make this uh, hydroponics uh, farm. And that requires uh, basically another tile up. And these grow to three high one, two, three. So this is already hitting the ceiling. So if I put another tile here, the hydroponics farm, then it it would be pretty much into this. So this would have to be dug out at a specific time. So, okay, now they are starting the cleaning task, which I'm happy about. They're actually starting to, and we're making positive flow of food. I'm, I just saw one of my duplicates uh, put some stuff in here. So there is food going in there. Um, that's already enabled. We're still not getting enough power to keep these running. So, and we do got another station. So it's a supercomputer. We're gonna throw the supercomputer down here. And we're gonna. Again, I'm trying not to have so many things on the circuit because I don't want to be blowing out the circuit. So, I'll create more batteries first off. And hopefully, this doesn't mess up anything. So, maybe more batteries will allow us to get more of a charge going on. Alright, so we got another battery going on. Uh, obviously, we got these guys. They're running on the wheel. And uh, we got the micro mushers going. People are uh, happy over here getting water and stuff. Why isn't this built? Wish for that to be built. And the micro musher, the food. It looks like the excess of uh, food. They're actually really dedicated to actually putting that away. Explosion. So, uh, let's just take, take a quick look. Alright, so we're on another day of oxygen not included. And let's see. Let's get some food up here. And that'll be the last of the crop. Right? And they'll get that going. At least for now, we, uh, we'll start this farm, get that started. And I'm going to put the another farm like over here, right? Just to kind of make it even. Uh, because obviously, as we can see, it's the base is not currently even. This is a lot of stuff on this side. And not a lot of stuff on this side. Uh, especially when it's coming to uh, things like this, the barracks. And uh, this is... Ooh. Got some... Oh, I forgot... Since we have a outhouse here and everything, uh, we're gonna have some polluted oxygen coming in. So I really gotta get this this section right here that I marked off as digging digging out for carbon dioxide. I actually gotta dig out for polluted water as well. So let me get my duplicates on that. All right, folks. So they finally dug out all this, and I actually signed the uh, priority to go and sweep up as much as they can out of here and start storing it away. And actually, I'm going to create another section for storage. I'm going to put a bunch of storage devices here. Uh, and yes, we'll sign a high priority to this. So we can get some more storage properties. What is going on here? Organic filtration medium and cultivatable soil. This is what we're going to call... We're going to put filtration medium in there. This raw mineral, that's raw mineral, that's raw mineral we'll consume. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna go consumable ore and raw mineral. 
and they'll probably be filled up real fast. Uh, a lot of little things I want to pick up over there, and actually I'm going to cancel all the other sweep jobs. Because I really don't want my duplicates to be, like, all tired and sleepy and stuff. I don't want them to uh, start getting hurt. I, I really want this colony to su succeed. So, uh, unfortunately, I have to do it this way. And since I don't have a hatch over here taking care of the polluted stuff, you know, it's not, not the ideal situation. So, uh, I did turn this back on. Just so I can have my hatchets working here over uh, a little bit, so that they can start t uh, taking care of all this. Uh, unfortunately, hatchet, you're gonna have to die. So, yeah, I know, I know. They're really all gung ho about that combat. I gotta tell you though. So, uh, just wanna try to, again. I wanna try to get out as much stuff here as possible. All right, so it looks like uh, my little duplicates had to go take a little nap. So I just want them to kind of like finish this up. We'll just put that as a level four sweep because we don't need this done right away. So we just need this stuff because if we're going to start filling this with polluted water and everything, I really do not want them uh, diving in here for this stuff and possibly getting sick and everything. It, I, it's just not healthy. And uh, let's actually take a look at the Germobile light real, real quick. That's power, that's oxygen, temperature. Decor, ventilation, plumbing, light. I keep, like, missing it. Farming? No. Germ! I don't want to get into there. And as we can see, we kind of get a lot of germs over here. Uh, and at one, the one time at night, I saw that they are kind of building up a lot, a little bit of germs on them as uh, my little duplicates, and we can see the germs that are rising on these storage containers as well. So I'm going to have to address uh, the bathroom issue as soon as possible. So let's. All right, I don't know why, but my little duplicates left that little piece of meat down there. Um, I don't know if it's, it's not, it's not organic. It is definitely food. Edible. What is this? Holy smoke, that's a rotten mush bar. Okay, so that, that means that the, they're not eating all of this stuff. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually create this down here. And I'm going to turn this off. Alright, they picked that up that food over there. I'm a little happy about I'm happy about that. This will be turned off. So we're not burning as much power as... Uh, before and what I'm gonna do down here uh, since we need not so much furniture I'm actually gonna first off we need a ladder and this has to be dug out as well and I just saw my duplicates run through there oh my god I didn't realize that was such a bug uh, and we have a couple hatches down here so I'm gonna leave those hatches alone uh, for now and I'm gonna possibly use this as oh my god I gotta address this so bad so fast uh algae algae da, 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 da. that no uh compost I stick the compost down there unfortunately that's the only spot I'll kind of want to stick it just for the simple fact that I don't want to put a start going into here as soon as I start going into here my duplicates would start getting like slime lung and stuff and I just, I just don't want that happening. So, kind of want to address this stuff right here. And I'm going to leave the hatches alone down here as well. And the reason why I'm going to leave the hatches alone, again, they create coal by eating stuff. So, as long as they can eat the coal, I am perfectly fine. Uh, eat uh, some uh, random stuff down here, I'm perfectly fine with them, them staying there in the base. Now, I got to address this stuff. This. Um, these are actually have at set to. These are supposed to be 25%, not zero. So this is wrong. So while that's going on, we're gonna. Yeah, let them charge that up. As we can see now, we're getting more of a charge, and no wonder why it was set to. It was set to zero, and it wasn't getting enough of charge. Jeez. So uh, now we address that issue. This yes, we need these 
research things done as fast as, pos as possible. Smith Jr., what are you doing? Stop eating your lunch and get back to work. No, don't create more mush bars. We're not even eating the ones that we have. God, irresponsible little food. Little fool. And I just realized that I'm missing something here. I am missing... No, we're going to uproot this stuff. I'm missing something very important for my little dupl duplicates. So I'm going to get that prepped. And uh, I guess we'll be right back after that. So, All right, so we're almost done with the sanitation here. Uh, obviously, my r regular research station is pretty much all the way up. Uh, intermediate one or my supercomputer is n hasn't been done yet. But uh, right now, I started doing the plumbing for this. And uh, the reason why I started doing the plumbing because I had to do a proper layout or it wouldn't wor work right. Now, what I noticed that if you just have a single pipe running all the way up through your base, it doesn't work well. So what I'm going to do is I'm running my pipe this way. Then from here, I'll run uh, the extensions downward. Obviously, this is right here by the bathroom. So the, one of the extensions are just going to go this way uh, and make it a little easier for that. But for the extra rooms over here and for the hydroponics and stuff, this it's all going to run in a different direction. So and then we're just going to make this all nice. So you can't see it. And let's see what they do. Uh, Obviously, they still have a little bit of a problem with getting this out. I want you to kind of deal with that stuff. Um, obviously, because it's not healthy for you guys. And we don't have a lot of hatches here, folks. So, we only have the one in the bathroom. And he's doing his job. He's eating the stuff and pooping out coal. And hooray for him. So, um, we might have to address power as well. So, you know, I'm just actually going to load this old up with power and I'm going to basically just go like this and get as much power onto the circuit as possible and bring that all the way across. And I'll probably later, I'll probably make this whole section a uh, electrical uh, battery section as well. Now, some of you might be asking why I decided to put the pump all the way down here instead of in here. Well, first of all, this pump is already working out of here and it's pretty much low already. But this right here, the reason why I did it like this is because I've had it at times where duplicates went to the bathroom on themselves right on the ladder and it would go and pull and it would end up in here. So I want to kind of prevent that from happening. And I got some jobs mastered, and let me look at the jobs mastered. Okay, so, uh, Tumor, or Turner, here, has mastered his job, so now he's no longer an apprentice uh, miner, he is a regular miner. Uh, oop. So if we see him come off, he comes back, and he gets a shinier hat, and he's happy, and he then he runs away. Now, I, and I just saw a morb drop down here, and you shall die. You shall die in a hell flames of fire, and he just went pop up. Okay, so anyway, back to jobs. Uh, me, uh, me, Ma, she 100% did her gopher thing, so she's going up to Courier. Uh, if we go down here, Schmidt Jr., he has reached his 100% uh, 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 in uh, research assistant, so he's going to be a regular scientist. Uh, groundskeeper, Lindsay, she doesn't do anything. Sous chef, she uh, can't go up yet. And my art student, even though he uh, she hasn't been doing art yet, and you know what, uh, groundskeeper, let's see, can we assign you anything else, Lindsay? Can I look at your jobs? Let's see, uh, she's already 100% of the thing, I'll, I'll put as research assistant, so at least we can get a, a total of two scientists in here. Uh, it looks like she might be a little sick though. Yeah, we're gonna be my year signed to the sick bay. Sick bay. Somebody take care of that toilet too, please. So this, we didn't sign a priority to you. So, and we just hit, I think uh, our sous chef has hit 
curve mark as well now. So let me just kind of prioritize all this. I'm kind of start one off working on that and uh, get that all going. And let's go back to the job board. And yep, Marie, the sous chef, has reached her maximum potential. So now she is going to be a regular chef. Now she is on the chef job. No, she's she's a little sick too. Yep. Congratulations, and you know what? You're gonna be kind of uh, dealing with that over there, sweetie. You're gonna be signed to the sick bay. I know you're. I know you're sad. I know. I, I'm work. I'm doing the best I can, sweetie. I'm doing it. Okay, so this has to be deconstructed. And now we can start kind of like worrying about this um, mesh tiles. We're not gonna. We're gonna do that. Do that. That. I think I'm doing the bathrooms in the right spot. That's 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 good good good. good. Uh, I want to kind of like sweep this up now. Start getting that going mostly coal in here at this point now let's take a look at the plumbing now what do we have going for oh wait I can't deconstruct anything more until um, until they start working on uh, the piping in this section right here so I can't really do anything more until that's all taken care of so it's probably going to be a little fast forward for you guys, but it, to me it's probably going to be another sin job for now. See folks, this is what I was uh, scared of when I did this. As you can see, all the polluted water is going down here and pr uh, pretty much effectively uh, contaminated this system over here. Um, let's see if we can get Nima out of there well I don't care if she goes anywhere else but stays there and uh, the only reason why they're stress uh, she's stress vomiting right now is because we don't have anything to relax them as of yet so I'm trying to get that addressed uh, I can't do anything about this water anymore in, in fact this is effectively contaminated um, I think the only thing I can really address with this or I could be able to address with this is deconstructing this putting up this wall barrier like so uh, so we don't draw out from there and then we gotta have to deconstruct this and put a new uh, pitcher pump over here um, but let's see the germ overlay decor okay there is no germs in there it's just really really disgusting so we're just gonna take that, pick that up. I'm so, I'm like, I feel so bad for my duplicates, but uh, they gotta understand that I'm doing this for their own benefit, not mine. So we're gonna try to make it, make it so that none of my duplicates die. I don't want them to die. <laughs> Is that so hard to ask for? Okay, we're gonna look at. That. In fact, in fact, we're just gonna completely, completely seal that off. We do not want them in there anymore. Yeah, that'll be another. Uh... Okay, so good. They got that working. Um, just address that little mess right here. We got that going on. That going on. Yeah, clean all that up now. Now we don't want any of that polluted stuff sticking around. Why? What are you doing? I just noticed we're not producing oxygen, so I think it's yeah waiting for uh, material. So I just hit <laughs> number nine on here. Hopefully they deliver some uh, algae over there. I think what's going to happen is we probably don't have enough algae in this system to use. So we're going to uh, switch to light slow, and this is all algae over here. So we're just going to have to dig all this out, unfortunately and uh, steal all this out in here too. In fact, we're just going to go this completely across, right, and dig all this out. Like so. And my bubbles are st is stuck up there. Here. Here, little one. You can, you can get down, right? Everybody's stressed. 
I can't help you guys if you don't help yourselves. You gotta help me out here, man. Okay, hold on. Saying jobs mastered, but it looks like nobody has a job mastered as of yet. So, um, uh, sweep. Want that sweeped? Why haven't you guys done this? This simple task of sweeping. I know you're sad. I'm, is it because it's cold? I don't know what to tell you, buddy. If you, okay. I, I don't. I, like I don't know what to tell them. I love my little duplicates, but they, I can only help them so much if they don't help themselves. Uh, okay. This electrical. Get all this set up. Actually, you know what? We don't have to worry about that right now. That can be level 5. So, I know we got a food shortage going on, but you guys gotta help me out here. I'm doing the best I can. So... I feel, uh, I've, I'm feeling like they're being non-productive now, like, simple task, wiring, get it done, but, uh, maybe they don't have, no, like, it doesn't really tell me, yeah, okay, yeah, we already know that, I know we have high stress, duplicates are available, food shortage, I know there's a food shortage, is it just because we don't have enough, uh, met metal going on? If that's it, all I have to do is dig for copper. I can dig for copper. Or I can sign you guys to dig for copper. And I take you in to dig more copper. Alright, so it looks like we just didn't have enough copper. And that is the reason why that uh, they weren't building any of the copper pieces. Because we just didn't have enough copper. It, it looks like we just didn't have enough supplies in general to build any of the things that we need to do to pro progress to the next section. And I know you don't have enough oxygen back there, but you're not really supposed to be back there, to, uh, guys. Alright, that that one just ate that stuff. Yeah, go, go away from the hatchet. Let the hatchet do his job. Leave the hatchet alone. Take at least the new wood seed. Okay, they're almost done with that. We gotta get, we gotta get as much copper around here. There isn't really much uh, to speak of, so to say, except for right here. We could really go down here and dig. Fleeing. New duplicates are available. Ah, uh, shoot. Didn't mean to hit that. Well, I guess since we have this open, let's take a look at oh, what we have here. Uh, we got Ari. With ne negative three athletics, three uh, three digging, one kindness, creativity one, tinkering five. Uh, Ashkin, kindness three, five tinkering. Uh, Ren, plus five athletics, plus three tinkering, negative three strength. How does that... Whatever. <clears throat> Noodle arms, diver's lung, twinkle toes, uh, grease monkey enjoys performing opera jobs and will master them 50% faster and he's a cook. Alright, Ren! You're gonna be part of my colony. I'm gonna have to find a spot for you to sleep, unfortunately. So, I don't know where you're gonna go, but I'll find a spot! Yeah, uh, what, what's the auction like? Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to kick this back on. And I... I might have to make another room over here somewhere. I don't know where, but I gotta find something. Or maybe make a room up here. Uh, takes a lot. Well, if it's for my duplicates, uh, we got what I got one, two, yeah, one, two, and two, three, four, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, down. That goes there. And we're gonna stuff a bed in there for you and hopefully you be happy. Okay, so are we still having issues with like not so much food, but uh like cancel this. Yeah, we're still having food shortage going on here. 
decon cancel deconstruct. Let's let's get that out of the way. Like what is this? Oh my uh polluted water. Just take care of that. Get that out. Um sandstone. So it looks like we probably need to dig for more sandstone. And unfortunately, this is the only sandstone I see in my base. So we're gonna go like that. Like so. And we're gonna dig like this. Like so. And then we're gonna assign this as a high priority. Like so. I know there's a food shortage! God, I don't need to be told every three seconds there's a food shortage. We got plenty of sandstone over here. Cancel that, cancel that. Kinda wanna go like this. Okay. And this. So, um, I think it's about time to wrap it up, folks. I thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. There is a lot I still got to do here. And unfortunately, uh, why are you stuck up there? Like, really? Come on. Seriously? Come on. Yeah, so let me build that place so she can get down. <sighs> Guess she's sleeping there for tonight. <laughs> uh, along with our new guest. So, I guess he's going to have a, his little time. It's in there. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf G uh, uh, Gaming. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on what I can do next or what I should really prioritize, you know, leave it down in the comment section down below. Uh, any uh, information would be actually greatly appreciated. And anyway, thank you again for tuning in again. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time here. And as always, like, subscribe, and share, spread the love, and see ya! Now keep your hand off that mouse, folks. We have so much more fun and exciting content on this channel that you guys and gals are missing out on that it's not funny. So all you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button right down below this video. Also remember to hit the bell notification button. You can't miss it. It looks like the Taco Bell bell just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Commander Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and gals to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, Hit the thumbs up button if not hit the thumbs down button but remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section i want to know what you think and i want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay but as always folks like subscribe share and spread the love and i hope to see you guys next time here on command wolf gaming